Hello guys, welcome to Passiveern. In this video, I am going to review Hardell IQ. Hardell IQ is basically a whiteboard. You can power up remote meetings and presentation with this online whiteboard. And if you scroll down, they are claiming that they are alternative of Miro and Mural. And it's best for remote teams and educators that want to improve project organization, collaboration, and presentation. So Hardell IQ is a comprehensive digital whiteboard that gives you all the tools you need to meet, present, and collaborate productively online. If you scroll down and if you see their lifetime deal pricing, as you can see their lifetime deal pricing starts at 79 USD and it's one-time purchase and they are offering you up to 10 codes. As you can see, they are offering you up to 10 codes and you will get all the features in all the uh, tier but the only difference is this member in single tier you can add up to five members in double tier up to 10 members and in multiple tiers and 10 codes you can add up to 50 members and if you decrease the code suppose i will decrease it to code 8 then you can add up to 40 members so this is the difference guys between these tiers and as you can see you can get up to 500 gb upload storage 100 MB maximum file upload size, save board as templates, card and task, annotation, collaboration, video conferencing, screen conferencing, polling, chat, comments and task timer, education, uh, custom education template and math type and cam type equation that means maybe chemistry type equation, tools. There have tools like template, library, resource, document support, integration, card, slide and document export you can also do various kind of operation suppose infinity board alignment aid object alignment linking objects then backgrounds map presentation mood in management they have project member and guest invitation notification task list and attendees list so these all things they are offering you on all these tiers in integration you are getting adobe dropbox icon finder google onedrive pixabay slack these things and there have 60 plus document types supported for presentation. Also, they have mind and concept mapping, flowchart, freehand drawing, this all things they have. And as you can see, these are the things you are getting all features above in all this tier. And they have unlimited boards, unlimited guests as editor, commentators or viewers, unlimited private or shared project and unlimited object per board and only difference is between this team members section so these are the things guys and if you scroll down and from here if you see their roadmap this is their roadmap if i go to this link let me check what have inside this link so this is their roadmap guys as you can see this is 2025 first calendar quarter and this is second calendar quarter and this is third quarter this is fourth quarter so they will add a lot of features in future also they have listed all their plans here in this section if you want to check this roadmap section you can check this roadmap section just go to the description of this video and then go to their roadmap section so these are the things guys and this is and they are pricing lifetime deal pricing you can get up to 10 percent discount in all this pricing just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount link without further doing let's go to the dashboard of hardly like you and let's explore what have inside the dashboard of it so this is the dashboard of hardly like you after signing up you will see a dashboard like this and the dashboard is very simple and minimal see there have three options and there have some options in my board section you can create and see your boards suppose this is one of the board that i have created and to create new board just click here new board then give a name of your board here suppose i am giving here passive one video you can give a new name and then you can select your project type you can create multiple project from here i'll show you how you can create project and then you can select your project from here suppose um, this is by default created project my project anyway after that you can invite here your users or your guest or you can just create the board in my case i'll create the board but you can upload the image or thumbnail of your board also suppose i'll upload a image here
suppose this one is my image after that just click on create it's taking some time guys to create so it has been created guys see this is passive and video i'll open it i think it's taking a little bit more time than usual so developer of this hardl iq should consider these things so that they can minimize this loading time see it's loading 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 and after coming inside the board you can see these templates there have recommended templates building blocks brainstorming education meeting and coaching problem solving research and design strategy planning uh, there have shared private favorite these all things suppose i will uh, select meeting and coaching you can select anything after that there have a lot of templates see there have four piece of marketing four ls uh, then five voice six uh, thinking hats technique triple uh, six roadmap seven piece of marketing so these are all the things they have um, created by default or they have created previously customer journey roadmap uh, these all things see there have a lots of lots of templates you can see you can explore it if you want i'm not wasting time uh, just see suppose we will um, take anyone from here suppose we will take which one we will take maybe customer journey roadmap or bulls eye diagram you can take anyone from here suppose i will take which one should i take i'm confusing because all the templates are very good i'm seeing here you can here mark it as favorite see you can mark it as favorite so these are the things guys suppose i will select customer journey roadmap just click here it will be added so to add it's taking some time these are the things guys see this is the um, board see this is the board you can zoom it or zoom out it zoom in it see It should be more smooth i think because it's not totally smooth i think it should be more smooth so as this is a very new tool so definitely they will um, improve this tool more in future suppose these are the things guys as you can see here is the scenario uh, awareness so uh, here is the sticky notes you can grab any sticky notes from here and drag and drop anywhere you want you can write here anything you want suppose i am writing something here so these are the things guys you can zoom it see see what i have written here just now so these are the things guys you can format this all the things i hope uh, let me zoom out it so suppose i will format it how can i format it so this is uh, the thing suppose uh, i want to write something here they have fonts suppose i'm scrolling down this is the pre-made template suppose i will um, make my template by my own so this is a complete blank board or complete whiteboard now i want to design it so if i click here car short then definitely i can move it after that there have uh, see there have pen suppose i'm selecting here four and then i'll select here this color or yes now i can maybe yes i can write here anything suppose i will write here so these are the things guys i, I can uh, draw here anything 
but it's not working smooth see so the developer should uh, consider these things yes it's working smoothly if i do it slowly but if i do it quickly let's see what happened see uh, suppose i'll do in this way see it's not uh, getting the drawing suppose i will write something let me check the let me uh, move it suppose i will select this color now and then i want to write something here suppose i will write passive uh it's not working why maybe i have to select this one so i'm selecting this one now maybe i can write uh, no it's a marker actually but here i can write these things See, I'm using my mouse to write. See how it's working. So these are the things, guys. You can do these things. But I think this tool should be more matured because uh, the writings are not smooth. I don't know is it my fault or is it the fault of this software. I'm not sure about that. Now, suppose I want to uh, erase these things. So to erase, maybe I have to select this one yes i have to select this one now i have to select what i want to uh, erase but it's not erasing why not it's or erasing i don't know but and these things are erasing so these are the things guys after that there have text option i'm selecting the text option and suppose i'll select this font and then I'll select this color then maybe I can write something here suppose I'll write something here so I have written something here guys see now what I can do I can um, increase the border radius uh, it's good I can increase the size maybe but and there is no increasing size after that if I select this one then I can increase the size maybe. yes I can increase the size um, so these are the things guys I can do these things yes that means and there have a border see they have a border and maybe I I can increase the font size suppose i want to increase the font size i don't know from where i, I can increase the font size maybe from this see? yes by clicking here i can increase the font size suppose i want to make it 100 so this is the thing see this is the thing and there have duplicating option so i can duplicate it i can drag and drop it maybe anywhere i hope it is possible to drag and drop anywhere it yes it's possible after that if i select it let me explore what have more here there have a option create a slide suppose i'm clicking here create a slide then i will give a name of the slides suppose um slide one and here attach to slide presentation optional and you can select your the aspect ratio from here see there have uh, tablet portrait tablet landscape um, browser 69 so i'm selecting this one after that click on ok so see it's uh, a slide it's working like a slide see it's a slide and then here have some option uh, this is slide one you can create multiple slide under one whiteboard in this way so this is a cool feature you can create multiple slide under one whiteboard um, but uh, suppose i want to uh, change the color of this slide is it possible let me explore it 
there have option i can change the um, size see i can change the size see i can change the size after that there have a option fit to screen so i can fit it to screen after that there have option i can lock it and i can delete it also so i can do these things and i can hide the toolbar by clicking here so i can do these things but the thing i want to do is i want to change the color of this slide maybe i cannot do these things here mm, i cannot get any option to change the color of this slide but uh, it should be added i think here anyway after that there have a sticky notes option suppose we are moving it suppose we will add a sticky note here there have a lots of colors suppose i will add this color just so this sticky notes has been added see now maybe i can increase the size yes i can increase the size after that there have option i can change the colors i can change the text color i can write here any text and there have um, all the features all the um, formatting features that you need to write a text after that there have shape suppose i will select uh, maybe uh, this one maybe this one after selecting this one so you can make these types of sticky notes also here it's a very cool feature suppose i want to make this one so it's a very cool feature so these things i can do here it's um, very good and similarly you can make it um, a slide you can also duplicate it you can delete it lock it and you can um, fit it to the skin so these are the things guys in this sticky notes section you can do these all things here after that there have uh, this option let me check what is this option comment option suppose you want to comment so just click here and then suppose to pick one and then write your comment here is the comment after that just click post so this is the comment see in this way maybe you have to comment this is a comment maybe i will drag and drop it um it's little bit slow this slowness should be considered by the developer of head had like you uh, see i am dragging it but it's not walking or it's not moving so it's very hard to move these things so the developer should consider it i think so these are the things guys and in this way we can comment if anyone click here they can see the comment from here people can write more comment here suppose comment to so in this way people can comment after that there have option name cards let me click on cards so this is card see this is one of the card okay Uh, it's saying to enter a title suppose title one after that there have task comment attach suppose i'm clicking on here so i can assign any member to these cards these are the things um, as in this uh, dashboard i have only one member that's why i'm seeing one members but in your case if you have multiple members then definitely you can see all the members here and you can select the member then okay okay you can assign uh, your members to this task you can comment on this um, card or you can attach a file on this task yes these are the things guys on this card section you can do these things on this card after that let me check there have um, objects so i can bring here this kind of object and and they are basically like these sticky notes isn't it suppose i will I bring here a, a sign like this one so i'm adding here then maybe i can 
increase it yes it's almost like this sticky notes but not really completely like this sticky notes because in this sticky notes the background is not white but here the background is white these are the difference after that there have uh, maybe resources you can add here emojis icons icon aws so there have a lot of icons see you can add here images illustration vector graphics videos simply suppose i will add a video so just click on video maybe i want to add a video now what to search suppose i am searching nature so i can add this kind of videos here so uh, these videos are maybe uh, from pixabay pixel free videos suppose i like this one or this one just i have to click here then maybe it will be added yes it has been added see in this way i can add uh, videos but it would be very good feature if i could add my youtube videos here through my link so i will request to the developer of huddle like you so that we can also add here and the videos from our youtube channel or the videos through our youtube links it would be a good feature i think and the developer should consider it after that if i back from here uh, here i can add templates vector graphics illustration suppose i will add a illustration let me check yes um i have to search but i cannot upload here why maybe i can upload here um, later in any feature but here in this resource section i cannot upload suppose i will search here nature yes so this kind of illustrations you will get here see this kind of illustrations you will get it's a very cool feature it looks very beautiful see it looks very beautiful there have a lots of uh, illustration there have a lots of illustration see all the illustrations are very good and it's all premium quality i love it i like it a lot there have vector graphics templates uh, images icons emojis so you can get these things there have a lots of lots of emojis you can add these things here so these are the things have inside this resource section guys after that uh, there have another option library let me check what I have inside this library uh, add to library so you can add uh, your things to library yes um, i have uh, said that before i want to add my youtube video through url so if i want to add my youtube video then i have to use this feature so suppose i will add a youtube video from here suppose i am going to my youtube video suppose suppose this is one of the video that i want to take i am clicking here and i am getting the link from here let me get the link i'm copying the link then i will go to hard like you then i am pasting the link okay so see this video has been added now maybe i can um add this video here yes i can add this video here see i can add this video here so these are the things guys you can do on this um whiteboard things after that there have option in this option there have video conference suppose i'm clicking here video conference so you can do video conferencing things here also i'm not trying these things here on this uh, recorded video but you can do these things after that there have presentation mode suppose i am clicking presentation mode continue then is it presentation mode how is this presentation mode i don't know but they have a option named presentation mode i'm clicking here but i don't know how this is presentation mode but this is in general as usual we get this mode after that there have slides option we can create slide and there is comment and there is chat so i can chat maybe yes there have a option named chat i can write here message and 
I can chat with my team members here. Suppose hi and then send. See, this is the message. So there is a chat option. In the chat option, there have all the formatting things. There have emojis. So I can do these things. After that, there have task timer. So you can start it. Yes, it's a very good thing. This is a timer. So it's running and there I have set up four minutes. So th these are the things guys I can do from here. Uh, setting up timer is very good. See, and after that, and there have uh, this poll option. So I can create poll maybe. Suppose I want to create a poll. So poll name, suppose poll one. And here I will ask a question. And then here I can select the timing, suppose two minutes. And after that, I can add here options. Suppose uh, this is option one. And this is option two. And I can add here answer also. And that means I can add here new option, suppose option three. So it's very good. Now I can start the poll. It will be int after this time. See, this is the uh, poll. So I can do this poll things with my team members. It's very good. So I can stop it. I can stop it any time I want. And these are the things, guys. So after that the last option is there have board map so if i click here see you can see all the board maps here the board that i have created here you can see all the board map uh, from here see it's a very good thing so these are the things guys by clicking here on this option you may add here team members or you can copy the link that means you can copy the invitation link or you can copy the guest link you can add your team members or you can add guest uh, in this way and you can also control as board viewer board editor board commentator so these are the things guys you can do i'm not doing right now um after that there have notification option you can see notifications after that there have task list you can see the task from here here they have the help center you can get these things they are have getting started using the dashboard using the board board so these things they have they have integrations and let me click on the integration and let me check what integrations they are offering so these are the integrations guys as you can see they are offering you these integrations there have documentation how you can add this integration on your hard IQ whiteboard you can read it and you can add these things so they have this help section after that on this profile section there have profile section so these are the things guys basic thing so these are the things guys on this whiteboard the one of the main problem i am facing here is it's very slow um, it's not moving whenever i want to move it's claiming that it's an alternative of miro see it's an alternative of miro and as my experience the miro is very smooth but if i want to scroll it see i want to move it see i want to move it but i cannot move it very easily so these uh, things should be considered by the developer of um, hardl iq see it's not moving it's very difficult to move so this loading thing or this timing thing should be considered by the developer of hardl iq other things are almost compatible with miro i think uh, so these are the things guys these things we can do with this hardl iq whiteboard these are the things i am backing from the board see this is um, it's loading so this is the board on who is board we have worked as of now in this way we can see all our boards here after that there have invite send option let me check and uh, there we can see all the invitation that we have sent to our team members after that they have administration option they have organization profile see this is the organization profile you can um, you can give your organization name your time zone and your 
profile image here after that there have members you can add new members here after that there have a stack codes that means if you buy any code from this AppSumo lifetime deal then AppSumo will give you a code you have to enter this code here and then you can stack this code after that they have subscription that means this is basically their regular pricing plan so these are the things and they have private project and shared project two option suppose you want to create a new project just click here new project and give a name of your project suppose project passive earn and you can keep it shared or you can keep it private suppose you want to keep it private then keep it as it is but if you want to keep it shared then select it and then select what things you want to share suppose you want to share the project listing project members and the project board what you want to share after that just click on create it will be uh, under the shared project as we have selected shared project so these are the things guys on this huddle like you this tool is very new so definitely they have plan to improve it more so i think they will be improved more in future they have uh, 10 reviews on AppSumo and the reviews are almost 5 star but not actually 5 star almost 5 star see these are the things guys you are getting on hard like you if you think this tool is helpful for you or if you think you really need this tool for your business or to improve your personal life then you can get this lifetime deal from AppSumo I'll give the 10% discount link of this lifetime deal in the description of this video just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount link and it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think this video is helpful for you and if you think you need this tool then please use this link to purchase this amazing deal and if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel then please consider subscribing it will help me a lot and visit our website www.pc1.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group I'll give the link of this VIP lifetime deal discussion group in the description of this video. If you wish to join here, you can join here just through clicking this link. Thank you so much for watching this video. Best of luck for you.